some point, some extra calories for whatever reason. There's just, just no no plan in general. Well, Western culture as we know it lives in today. Um, yeah. We don't ever really think. I mean, people overspend money today. They they don't think about the ramifications of their of today's actions relative to tomorrow. I mean, so there's a lot of there's a lot of fundamental issues, but diet definitely extends into that. And you know, and that's that's keto and otherwise. I mean, I would you know again using the example of somebody consuming seven eight hundred grams of carbs a day. If you're not thinking at some point you might need a keto phase to control your insulin sensitivity. Uh, you know, that's sadly mistaken as well. So uh, I think a lot of, and you know, we call it nutritional periodization, but a lot of people just very much live in the current phase. It's, you know, what we're recording this at the end of April. So a lot of people are getting ready to diet for the summer. Mm-hmm. And I guarantee a lot of people are thinking of using the keto diet to diet for the summer. But let's consider the fact that you're going to go 12 to 14 weeks without any car. Uh, we lost you. Go up on there vacation you where you're going to consume. Oh, can you, can you hear me? You're going to show up on vacation where you're going to consume nothing but alcohol and carbohydrates. Yeah. And after after three to four months of no carbs, then you do that for a week of only alcohol and carbs. How do you think your body's going to respond to that? Pure muscle. <laughs> oh, a hundred. Dude, gains. Gains, man. All about the gains. So, yeah, I, I mean, it's, uh, you know, people don't think at all about long term, you know, long term anything. So just kind of to nutshell this thing, uh, short-term strategy, good for some people with with specific health conditions, um, have a plan. Always have a plan. Yeah. Always have a, a long-term, like, periodized plan, right? So even if you're – even if you're pursuing fat loss as it is today, um, you need to have an exit strategy from your current diet. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, once you've exited that, you need to say, okay, am I even in a place where I could potentially diet again? Like, Mike, I know you're going through your diet, right? Trying to get Coming shredded, out bro. of that, I guarantee you'll have – dude, I'm trying to trying to get shredded like you. But uh, you're jacked. But, a- a- if you guys need to go to his Instagram, this guy's jacked. <laughs> he doesn't just talk the talk. There's Dude, a lot of nutritionists. You're just going to disappoint a lot of people, man. They're going to go to my Instagram and be like, Mike is completely full of shit. Wrong uh, username. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. People are going to say, like, yeah, I'm just going to I'm gonna start posting pictures of you on my account. And maybe people believe Prepare me, to but, lose followers. Uh, <laughs> um, but no, it's, uh, yeah, I, I mean, you know, every dietary phase you go through has to, has to be periodized. And we talk about this in the context of literally everybody we work with, whether you're a professional athlete, whether you're a weekend warrior wanting to get lean, whether you want to live forever, there, there has to be some sort of flow and some sort of evolution to what you're doing. Um, and, and if that's not built into your plan, then you need to talk to somebody that understands that concept. Yeah, I think advice. I mean, obviously, if you have the money, always getting some kind of coach. And it, it is difficult. No, again, another discussion for another day to find a, a qualified or, or good coach but yeah. any kind of guidance is often better than uh because you, you have weird discussions with yourself i even do i've been in this thing for 12 years and i still think like shit man maybe i should do some yep. keto you know like everyone's <laughs> getting results on keto fuck <laughs> yep yeah i mean dude i just i literally just started my diet on monday and i was like maybe i need to start like super low carb for the first two weeks and and i've coached tens of thousands of people yeah <laughs> and so like you know stupid Stupid shit still goes through my head. Yep. Um, it, it's human nature, right? I, I mean, I think that we see the the media and the propaganda around us, and here we are, three people that have been in the industry that understand the industry and and understand the bullshit messaging behind a lot of it. Yet we are still influenced by it. Yep. If we're influenced, like think about the people that don't have our knowledge and don't have our experience. Of course, they're getting hit with it. Yeah, we get it. Uh, Jason, appreciate you, man. Appreciate the time. Where can people find you? Yeah, dude. Um, Instagram at Jason Phillips underscore IN3 or online IN3Nutrition.com. Awesome. Uh, best two places. Awesome. Thanks so much.